last day in paradise, you know, you guys ended your relationship. Uh, what happened since then? Um, since then, we've spent a lot of time together, and we had a blast. But there's there's more to a relationship than um, you know just hanging out. I think that in relationships, there's certain wants, needs, and expectations that you need from your counterpart. And uh, I think it's safe to say that on both sides, neither of us were consistent with that. And there have been times of struggle. Um, before you got out here, the twins said that there was a situation where you were unfaithful to Amanda during your relationship. Is that true? That's false. So you were never unfaithful? Never. What happened in Colorado then? Uh, I, I went there on business and you I You didn't was, hook up with the girl? I did not. Interesting. Well, so what were those pictures that were sent to Amanda? It was pictures of me close to a girl, but I was not by any means being unfaithful. The picture did look like y'all were making it. Let's be honest. It, 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 it looked not. like it. Maybe you'll, okay. I don't know. Okay. It did look like it though, but you know. He was Ooh. there, not me. <laughs> here, here we go, huh? No, I'm just saying. It okay. looked like it. If you're saying you didn't, I believe you. You were there, Thank not you. me. Thank you. I appreciate but that. But it did look like it. It's, it's, not, it's no secret that when we go out in public, we're in the limelight. And um, people will twist it, so. No one's ever taken a picture of me when I was dating someone, took, like, touching another man. I would never even, like, consider. I think we were looking for different types of things. I think we had different expectations of what a relationship 100%. should be like. We're not looking for the same things. Oh, I know. Okay. <laughs> that, that's why we are not together. Yes. I understand that. Thank you both for taking us on this ride. I know it wasn't easy, uh, and especially for you, Christian. I'll give you the last word then about you two. Um, so I did want to get one more thing like off my chest. So if, um, Demi, if you could stand with me really quick. Okay. Wait, what's happening? Um, I just wanted to say a couple things. Um, Demi, when I met you, I was instantly captivated by you. I love your laugh. <laughs> um, I love when you wake up throughout the night and whisper, I love you. And then roll over and... <laughs> I love you. And you say forever. And I'm so grateful that we went to paradise and it gave us the opportunity to grow our love for each other. I know that last day in paradise, that, that was the best day of my life. And I wouldn't want to do this life with anyone else but you. Um, so, Chris. Oh my God, no! <laughs> so, Demi. <laughs> Will you marry me? I know Annalise is ready for a guy like to get down on one knee right now and get engaged. And you deserve the best. And I think I might not be the guy for you. Because I just feel like I kind of lost that, that spark we had in paradise after leaving and experience it in the real world. Job. Annalise, like, I'm trying to make it work as much as no, I can. No, you're not. I am. You're not. You I'm def tried. I def I never tried. You have not been trying. Okay. I've been trying all the time. It's just when I'm not in it, I can't no, fake it. No, after New York, you shut off. You know it. Things just started to not click there for me anymore. And I didn't mean to shock you like this, and it's been coming for a, a few days. I just am at a complete loss right now. Like, I just don't, I don't even know what I'm feeling. I feel like I'm just empty. 
I don't know. I have nothing to say. And I'm sorry you feel that way. And I really, I really want to be there for you, but I can't. Oh my God. Annalise, first of all, I'm sorry. What do you want right now? To get off this stage. <laughs> all right. I hope that both of you understand that there was never the intention of malice. There was never a point where I wanted to, to do either of you wrong, and I understand that that happened. And to watch those episodes on Mondays and Tuesdays, like, it, it really, really hurts. What hit you the hardest watching it and, and watching your own actions? I mean, while it was happening, all I was able to see was what was directly in front of me. And to see Christina so emotional, it killed me. It, I mean, it's, to watch someone cry because of you is, is an absolutely horrible feeling. I look at you, I see you're emotional tonight. I look at Christina, same thing. When you see her now, what goes through your mind? I mean, it's hard seeing her. Obviously, you saw how emotional I got on the last day. And I mean, those emotions are still there. I had to, I mean, like unfollow her on all social media platforms because every time I saw like a picture of her pop up, it would, I don't know, it would affect me in, in, in some way. When you say you still feel that way, meaning you love her? I still have very strong emotions for her, absolutely. Christina, what would you like to say to Dean? Um, what I want to say to Dean that I hope that whoever is next in your relationship that you will never treat them like that because I think I took a lot, but I had a love for you and I was really willing to work on it because like I believed in you and I believed in us. It's just, it came to a point I had to say goodbye. But I'll always have that love for you because it was intense, but it was real. And I haven't experienced that before. Um, yeah, that's where I'm at now. I just, I will always have a special place in my heart for you, Dean. I don't know, like, okay, <laughs> my point of view right now. If you were saying that you were in love with Christina this whole time and that you love her, like, and we left the show, immediately after, like, within an hour, you called me. <laughs> in that, okay, in that regard. And you came over, like, we had a relationship that unfolded after Paradise. And you're saying all this now, so then it's like you loved her, but then did you just want to get with me and then go back to her? Like, I don't understand that. But that's really what you think? Well, I, left, I don't know. I, left Paradise, <laughs> I just want to know. I left know. Paradise saying that I had strong feelings, such you as love for Christina. You said you loved Christina. her, yeah. <laughs> Careful, Dean, what you say, because I thought we kind of tried kind of talking again, mm -hmm. but we, it's just like, are you still flipping flopping us both? Because I don't know what you're doing. Yes, my indecisiveness carried on until after the season, and I, I understand that. I mean, enough is enough. As you saw, the text messages, we had chatted before, and like, everything was fine. You're, you're pulling from text messages, very perfectly selected text messages that make you look good and not, and ma that make me look bad, so that's not fair. The reason that I release these text messages is because of the allegations you said that were not true. If I were to sit on this stage and say, you know, I didn't sweet talk her, like she came on to me, I would have been laughed off the stage. Nobody would have believed me. After the show, while it was airing, Blake released the text chain between he and Kaylin. Um, it was very private and very personal. Then you deleted those because you said Kaylin was being attacked. I knew that she would get attacked for embellishing the truth. Like I knew she was gonna get attacked for that. But what I saw and what was hard to see was the fact that she was getting attacked for having sex. To me, that was too much. And I that you were getting- I told you that was gonna happen. You called me right before you posted those and I told you that was gonna happen. You knew all of this was gonna happen. No, I didn't think that. I didn't think people would stoop that low. I'm gonna interject real quick and say, you did text me right before you did that. Mm -hmm. And you said, I know she's gonna catch a lot of heat for this, but I gotta, I gotta do it for myself. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say and that knew you knew that did. she was gonna get a lot of heat for it. Two hours after posting them, you then said, oh my God, I'm so sorry, don't attack her for that. Like, it's just like, your whole point in this, this was premeditated. You, ha you were holding on to this since July. Your whole point in this was to dis discredit me and you've done far more than that. You've discredited me in every aspect of my life. 
The things you were saying on that beach. Like what you did was so intentional. You were slut shaming him. Like all due respect, but what the f is wrong with you? How did like, I honestly, slut shame? <laughs> no, no. How were you slut shaming me? Yeah, I. A airing my 5 a.m. text messages. That is not, that, like, come on, dude. You talked about <laughs> my and Christina's sex life on national television in that front of millions of people. That we both said we were gonna people. be open about, okay? Do you see that that was a violation to Kaylin, releasing those text messages? Like, listen, I knew that people were gonna be mad at me, but I felt like I had to defend myself. Because I had no idea she was saying those things. And those, like, were kind of missing the point, like, the allegations she made. Like, she said that I played her Sweet so talked her into bed and then silenced her. Those are not light allegations. I'm sorry, Blake. I was hurt and I was sad and I fully overreacted. I've apologized to you time and time again, but I would never stoop so low to air those text messages.